Uh, look at me. It's winter and I'm precious about my energy usage, so I end up rocking the throw blankets like it's a look. Um, this one, I'm going to talk about my favorite Christmas music, and I know I've said before that I'm not fond of most Christmas music, but there's a select few that I not only tolerate but enjoy and actually go out of my way to listen to. So uh, the first one, first and foremost, well, there's something in my eyeball, is Eric Cartman singing Oh Holy Night. It will never not make me fall over laughing. Um, I know that South Park does a lot of things very, very wrong, but they do music really funny. And that one just, it gets me. It gets me. I distinctly remember the first time I heard it, I was um, a kid and was coming back from with my parents from the family Christmas party. Let me elaborate. I don't mean like the Christmas party where my family was. So it wasn't even like I was hanging out with my cousins and my grandma and stuff. It was the friends of my grandma and their children and grandchildren. It was like nobody I really knew or liked. And I was a grumpy child, so I was not having fun and just being a brat about Christmas. And then that song came on the radio, and I've, I've never... I don't think I've ever had my mood flip-flop so fast before. <sighs> will always make me laugh if I'm feeling down and I want to smile. I will think of... With a Christmas tree and pack. Jesus was born, so I get Chris. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. Um... The next one is, see this is on my list, but I'm not even sure if, I, if this is the correct name, the John Lennon one. I think it's the Happy Christmas. I don't know, I, feel, I always feel very moved by that song. I feel like it's very powerful with the message, War is over if you want it. Uh, let's, another year over, new one just begun. How, how does it go? Not better. So if it's a good one without any fear, that's how it goes. Uh, but I feel like it also reflects how I end up feeling every December, which, you know, the, and the mood of it is still festive and happy, but at the same time, there's a melancholy, pensive note to it, but like still festive and still enjoying life, but just, just pensive about it. Uh, and the next one is more of like a category, which is instrumental Christmas music. Um, so just anything where there are not people singing. For some reason, I can enjoy it so much more if it's just different musicians with their takes on the Christmas songs than if it's different singers trying to make it their own, but failing horribly. I don't know. But uh, specifically, I like um, big band swing kind of interpretations, or Celtic, of course, because it's me, all the better if you can dance a treble reel to it. Anything is better if you can dance a treble reel to it. That's actually... Oh, oh yes. Um... One of the specific favorites I like, and I should I should know the details of it, but it's it's the one that's the Nutcracker music in the big band style, and the, it's playing an elf when Buddy is decorating the the department store. I love that one, which is a fantastic segue into my next one, which is Nutcracker anything. I love Tchaikovsky. I'm a huge uh, classical music nerd. I, I listen to Nutcracker year round. I'm not kidding. For me, it's it's more special at Christmas, of course. I have really good memories of both watching and performing in Nutcracker. Um, but what really moves me is the dancing moves me. Don't get me wrong. Well, when it's good, because there's a lot of interpretations of the Nutcracker that are not not for me, not that they're bad, but they're not for me. Um, but the, the music, it gets in my bones 
a lot of Tchaikovsky does this. It just gets to me. And I've, I've had a lot of late night drunken conversations about why I love Tchaikovsky, but the short answer is that music just moves me and I can hear it all year long. It's never too early or too late for me to listen to Nutcracker. And the last one, again, I am a classical musical nerd, is Handel's Messiah, which I believe counts more as like Easter because it's like the whole life of Jesus, but it's just really good, beautiful music, and um, again, I'm a classical music nerd. I have a lot of memories with it, too. I went to this awful Christian private school, and on the last day of school, they, would, they gave us an extra day after final exams, which was just the chorus and the orchestra singing Messiah. And I was never in it, so I had to sit and watch it. And I, I had all these memories as a kid going, oh my god. It wasn't even, it wasn't the whole Messiah. I think the whole thing was like three hours long. It was like a bridge like, to just the, um, the nativity part. And then the hallelujah chorus at the end, but I just remember sitting there and I, at the time I hated it. I don't think it was, it had anything to do with me liking or disliking the music. It was just, it was another day and we did all the schoolwork. I was like, why am I here? Why? No one wanted to be there, but it was really nice on your last day before Christmas break. The last thing is the the top tier choir kids who got the part singing the um, the Hallelujah Choir. And then the thing was, even after I had gotten so ingrained that I didn't like going to Messiah and I hated that day of school, blah, blah, blah. the next year when I was in college, I kind of missed it. So then I went and downloaded Messiah to listen to it while I was studying. And let me tell you, I, I I don't know if there's any truth in listening to classical music makes you smarter when you study, but I I did very well academically, and I lit I'd listen to that every year while I studied in college. So maybe it did make me smarter, but that's all. That's the Christmas music. My home is cold. I need a cat on me to keep me warm.